Hey everybody, welcome back to Slime Ranch once again with Dr. Dordle. Um, so I went ahead and slept until morning, and we're gonna wait and see if we get a new request in the trade. But we'll go ahead out um, to the wilderness and see if we got anything to pick. And you'll see in a minute, uh, these cute little guys aren't gonna be around anymore. The sun is their enemy, so to speak. Oh, I think that one just got gooped. I don't know if, like, if they're mixed with pink, if they last. Let's wait and see. <laughs> Maybe the pink phosphors don't. What's this? Oh! I didn't know about that. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> yeah, I think he exploded. All right. Or firefly slimes. Or phosphorus slimes, maybe they call them? I don't remember. Hmm. I'll have that. What's that? Oh my god! <laughs> what an awful noise. Like, just chickens getting eaten alive. If I can get to these guys. Doesn't look like it. Unless I can maybe get up around somehow. Nope. Nope. These guys are absolutely, like, wanting those chickens. All right. But now I think we have enough to build another corral, and I want some tabby slimes. Let's go ahead and head home real quick. I'm trying to keep my eye on the uh, time in the upper left on the screen there. I'm trying to see um, at what point in time we get the new missions each day. Just realized my uh, I've been like really close to my mic this whole time. I hope it hasn't been too loud. <laughs> that would suck. Hey everybody. Dash boots. It's highly advanced and frankly fashion forward boots reduce the energy consumption of sprinting. That would definitely be useful. So we'll go ahead and smack down some tabbies right here. And I think you can have the tabbies in this area uh, without having a roof. If they're fed, they won't try to get out. Oh! Come down, boys. Yeah, see, now they're good and happy. They're just gonna bounce around for a while. Now, sometimes a lot of the times it is a good idea to uh, mix plorts with things because it increases the options for feeding them. However, um, you also want to think about what you mix them with. Because, for instance, like if you mix pink plorts with things, you would get, say, tabby plorts and pink plorts, but pink plorts aren't worth anything. So mixing a rock and a tabby would be good because you can get both of those. But then also you can only feed them vegetables and meat, which means that fruit is completely out of the diet. Whereas with a pink plort, plort you can uh, feed them anything. But you also run the risk of just running out of food, so. You really gotta think ahead about uh, how much food you're gonna have and what you can give everyone. That's why I'm kinda taking it slow right now. I think we'll go ahead and build a garden, actually. Hmm. Shoot a fruit or veggie into the positive to be growing more of that type. So I'm gonna come back and get this one Q-berry, or Q-berry. Shoot it in here and start growing that so we can have more of them. And that'll take like a day, I think, to grow. Looks like it's time for our slimes to be fed again. 
today looks like a carrot day. Right, everybody line up so I can hit you. This game is part shooter. Got him. You. Like sometimes their faces don't change immediately. Maybe you just have to smack dab in the face for him to eat. Yeah, I think you gotta really nail him between the eyes for him to eat the carrots. <laughs> Gotta like shoot the carrots out of execution style to make sure they really stick. Hmm. Yep, there we go. Looks like 12 o'clock, roughly. Maybe. Maybe it's different for everyone. Salutations, Mr. Boo. Bo. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Victor Humphreys, professional slime rancher, slime scientist, and amateur musician. My understanding is that Miss West has already informed you of how the range exchange works, so I will spare you any further education. Instead, I'll illuminate you on what you can expect from my own requests. As a slime scientist slash rancher, I have a tremendous interest in the liquiform region that we share this vast range with. The or li liquiform legion. The slimes. My studies often keep me from venturing out on the range daily, and when I find myself short of, particulars, of a particular species, I use the range exchange to fill that gap. Don't worry, though. I will reimburse you handsomely for your efforts. Good luck in your new ventures, Miss LeBeau. I look forward to seeing life breathe once again into the former Twilger's ranch. Sincerely, Victor Humphreys. P.S. I once lost my most favorite fiddle while fleeing on a feral boom, while fleeing a feral boom slime. Its value is only sentimental, but should you find it, I'd very much love to be able to play it again. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Alright, let's see what he wants. If possible, please acquire the following for a further study. My thanks. So he wants some tabby slimes, pink slimes, and the little boys. Alright, I can do that. So pink slimes will obviously be really easy. Now, I'm not sure, but I think the tree style actually changes depending on what you're growing. So like we get a cube tree for the cube fruit, and I love that. I'm also not entirely sure if plants regrow after they grow once or if you have to shoot one back into it. So I'll probably leave a tree for a little while to see if eventually it grows again. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Bring these back. The tabby slimes and pink slimes won't be so hard. We will have to wait uh, until nighttime to get the little, uh, the other ones, the little blue ones. Phosphorus slimes, I think they said. I love it when they fly around the gun, like they just freak out. That was not for you. My slimes need this natural food source. Ow. Oh, it's too many carrots. Fine, you guys can have them. Ow. The vendetta is going to begin again. I'm going to destroy these rock slimes. I hate those things. They're adorable, but I hate them. All they bring is pain and grief. An ambulance just went by our house. Hope no one's dead. I mean, realistically, someone is, but... It's not a fun topic for Slime Rancher. Hmm. 
What are you doing? What are you doing out? What are you guys doing? You guys hungry again? Come here. Oh, no, I don't want you. Hmm. I don't know if it's better to feed them the Roostros. Let's check out the upgrades we can get. Water tank. That's a specialized vac tank that allows you to store fresh water. Jetpack. Keeps your head in the, keep your head in the clouds with this amazing personal jetpack. Dash boots. These highly advanced and frame blah, blah, blah. Heart modules. Sinks with your body's own vital process to enhance life systems, boosting health to 150. Plus, it's sparkly. Power core. Augments your backpack with an almost certainly safe microfusion generator that boosts energy to 150. Tank booster. Improved nano storage cell technology allows your vac tanks to hold 30 units of whatever you can back up. Those things are definitely worth grabbing when we can get them. Let's go look for more tabby slimes in the meantime. Because I believe they won't spawn at night. <laughs> I've screwed up the growth cycles so they don't all grow at the same time now, and that's frustrating. From Casey? Oh, that's uh, your one friend that sent you a message at the beginning, I think. Can I make this jump? <gasps> nope. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> Apparently, I can't even start. Come here, you. That's one tabby out of what? Six? Seven? Pogo fruit will be mine. Every last bit of fo pogo fruit is mine for the taking. Fogo fruit. Hmm. There's almost certainly going to be a bunch of tabby slimes back here. Come here, you. Wait, 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 guys. You don't know what you're doing. Just calm down, guys. If you guys eat the wrong ones, <laughs> what are those? Hey, stop, you gotta stop. <laughs> I want that Roostro. I'd rather have these than one Roostro. Also, I don't think the Roostro will respawn. I think I just killed the Roostro. Whoops. All right. Man, they have no idea the kind of danger they put themselves in when they eat those plorts. Um, so you're almost guaranteed to run across, uh, the tars at night because there's already plorts floating around and then you get like those new little firefly ones and they like intermingle in the areas and that ends up dropping plorts that weren't there originally and that's how the tars spawn in the wild the slimes just don't know any better so a lot of the time you come by and you have to kind of play clean up if you want to safely move around at night but of course a lot of those um don't spawn during the day so you're generally all right if you're exploring during the day Although I get the feeling that in different areas, maybe like in the cave, because it's always dark, there's going to be like more opportunities for them to mix the plorts. So I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we need, what, seven? Oh, I don't want to use my tabbies, though. Eh, push comes to shove, we'll do it. Come here, you. All right. So now I'll wait and see if that actually works out again. And if it keeps growing, we'll just leave it for a while until we have more. How are you guys doing? Are you guys hungry?
Doesn't look like anyone's hungry anymore here. Except for you. Except for you. Oh my god. <laughs> eat one of these. Dude. How hard is it to eat a pogo fruit? Come on. What are you doing out? If you're gonna be a troublemaker. I will rule these slimes with an iron fist. If they won't love me, they'll fear me. <laughs> yeah, it's time to smack a roof on this cage. Come here. Stop trying to jump out. Are you guys just that hungry? shot a little bit with that hen, but it's okay. I kind of like the system that's working out where, like, um, it tends to be, like, the end of the day when the episode finishes up, because the days are roughly, like, 20 minutes long. That's fun. Alright. Let's see if any of these boys will spawn now. Although I can't actually grab them, even if they do. Do a trick shot. Boom. Oh! I am the greatest slime rancher. Hi, Bay. I bought a cactus from you, sort of. When I came back home, it was one of the only things left in your shop. It's only a little guy, so I decided to adopt it. You know I kill every plant I touch, but I promise you this one will last. I mean, if I can't keep a cactus alive, then clearly something is really wrong. When I look at it, I think of you out there on the range doing your thing. Hope you're okay. I'm doing great. Just selling slimes and whatnot. Did I suck these pink slimes up from in there? Hey! I don't actually remember. Let's go look for more of those, I think. They're not spawning yet, but they should. It's definitely nighttime. Maybe they just don't spawn until like a bit later, maybe like midnight or something. Oh, there are some. Yeah, boss for slimes. Come here, you. And you. No! Oh. <laughs> there was nothing to be done. Need a bunch of phosphor slimes, actually. I need like 11. Maybe I need to clear the area out for more to spawn. Jeez, I need 12. some. Check out down here. Whoa, look at all these plorts. Eat 
easy money. Easy money. Hello. Hello. All of you belong to me now. Should I? That. I'll have you. I can get rid of those ports. All right, we'll come back fast. Whoa! I almost jumped to the ocean. <laughs> I'm probably gonna buy a dash upgrade pretty soon. We need literally one more phosphor slime. Let's go grab one. This episode's about to be too long. Yeah, it's neat. Like, they're not regrowing. I think you have to clear plots and plant new things. I don't think you can just, like, have it keep growing. Come on, give me a phosphor. Oh, the chickens just explode out of hell. All right. <laughs> they just come screaming into this world from underground and immediately get eaten by slimes. What an existence. All right, I have an idea. If we can't find any more phosphors over here, I definitely know an area where they'll spawn. And that's the area where we got those uh, extra tabbies earlier. So I'll deliver these and make a beeline over there while it's still dark enough to grab one. Otherwise, we're going to fail this quest. Or delivery, I guess you'd call it. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Come on. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Oh, we gotta hurry up. How long do we have? All right, we still got like 10 minutes. So the dash moots make us sprint way longer, which is great. That's really useful. Didn't even have to go all the way over there. Excellent. <laughs> oh, he's grumpy. Oh, I need to replenish my farm with you guys. Ah! These grumpy rock boys aren't happy that there's no vegetables around. I, I don't know if they actually start targeting you more. If they haven't eaten, but I feel like the slimes do get more agitated. Like, they'll start fighting and stuff, I'm pretty sure. I read about. But I guess we'll find out. And boom goes the dynamite. But you guys weren't expecting that reference. Here. Whoa! Chickens! This, does this guy grow chickens? Grow chickens. Raise chickens? Is that like his thing? Has a solid rock conviction in chicken stuff. Can I... Can I put all of them in here? Is this like okay? <laughs> we need to raise the walls. Spring grass. Spring grass attracts scuttlebugs that chickens just love to eat. With their bellies full, hens will produce eggs twice as fast. Vitamizer. The very, la very latest in advanced poultry tech. The Vitamizer bays the chickens in fighter rays, allowing them to grow into healthy hens and roosters twice as fast. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to feed my slimes GMOs and cause cancer. Or whatever the fuck GMOs are supposed to do. 
Yeah, it's definitely you gotta like clear the plot. Alright, well we still have very little of these. Um, now, can I just shoot it in there or do I have to clear the plot? No, I have to clear it. I think it costs a little bit of money to clear it. <laughs> yeah, it costs like 10 coins, whatever. Alright. Uh, well, this episode's been going on way too long, so I'm going to end it here. And, uh, yeah, thanks again so much for watching the episode. And until the next episode, I hope you guys take it easy, and I'll catch you around next time. Bye-bye.